develop some pretty cool and creative okay. ways of- Chat, I have to go pee and order food. Chat, give me one minute. How you going? Australian animals have developed some pretty okay, cool right, right. and creative right. ways of protecting themselves. Like echidnas. It looks like a dink. Magpies. Stingrays. The late Steve Irwin. And hermit crabs. But some of their methods aren't quite strong enough. So today, I'm going to make hermit crabs stronger by giving them some armor and weapons so they can destroy anything that tries to touch them. Alright, the first thing I need is some hermit crabs. And I could just buy them from the store, but they are expensive and it also seems a little unethical. So instead, I decided to get them from the wild, taking them away from their home, family and friends. Now I want to find a crab that is around 3 centimeters in diameter, so I brought my tape measure and began to measure. But after losing a tug of war with an octopus... XQC, I love you. Oh, I got it. He's gone. I gave up on the measuring and started searching for any shells I could find, but unfortunately all the shells were either empty or occupied with snails, which I crushed up for the fish, who started to get really friendly with me, almost too friendly, so I decided to call it and get out before they get up to any funny business, as these guys are notoriously Yo. named Blue Gropers. So, I started looking in the rock pools, creeks, and just anywhere with water, until eventually, I found this guy. I saw this rock moving before. So then I gave the rock a wash, and began looking for more. And after searching some more in this area, I found two more hermit crabs. Let's call them Sandy, Randy, and Handy. And I made them this home, which is filled with sand and random Lego pieces, but more importantly has a heat map that emulates the warmth that a hermit crab is used to getting from heat mats that exist naturally in the wild. Okay, now I just need to make the metal shells. And the first thing that comes to mind is casting their shells out of aluminium. And I can do this by 3D printing some shells with some cool designs like this, and then taking a cast of the 3D print and then pouring metal in to fill the mold. And I want the crab's armor to still look like shells, but also have a Mad Max style to it with stuff like armor plates, some spikes, buzz saws, and a swastika. Now I know that sounds bad, but just hear me out. Imagine you're going for a lovely, relaxing walk on the beach, just enjoying your time. But then you step on something sharp, and you look down and you see a shiny crab. So you pick it up, and it's a Nazi crab wearing a suit of armor. What the... Imagine how confused a random person would be if this by chance happens to them, that they just happen to step on the most evil crab in the world. And that's what I want. So, I 3D printed all my shell designs and baked them in the sun to harden up. Then, cast one in plaster with some arms for the molten metal to run down and left that for a couple of days to dry. Now I'm hoping that when the molten metal enters the holes, it will instantly melt the resin and styrofoam, creating a void which the metal will fill. Oh. So, next thing, I invited the neighbor's kids over for a 24 pack. <laughs> leaving until you finish, all right? Okay. And then collected all the cans, which I melted down in my furnace. 
And while the cans are melting, it's the perfect time to tell you about today's sponsor, KiwiCo, which is a much better thing to get for your kids instead of drinks. KiwiCo is a subscription service where you get a STEM project in the post once a month. Everything you need is there in the box, meaning you don't need to go to the shops for batteries or anything. The crates teach science, art, and engineering and are designed to spark a child's curiosity and creativity. I was really impressed by this domino machine and this walking robot, which both teach awesome engineering and design concepts. I really enjoyed this do-it-yourself air hockey kit I didn't know if you pump it, it gets so big. It gets so big when you pump it. Which is aged five plus, so is perfect for me and my friends. KiwiCo has heaps of different crates to choose from, and each monthly crate is designed. Oh, some of that, I, I fucking, guys, this is insane, get chat. Guys, 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 KiwiCo, that <laughs> insane crazy. No, 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 I'm not banned. Chat, fuck off, no shot. No, dude. No, what happened? No, there's no shot. Okay, now time to check on the cans. Oh, it's fine. And when they seemed liquidy enough, I poured them into Don't the talk mold. That's right. Don't talk to me. We're all good. Chat, chat. If they guys talking for, add a hermit crab. Okay, add a hermit crab. Okay, um, I would give him new shells. He would swap shells, right? As he grow, as, as he's growing up, and I bought him. I bought him. Yeah, you need to swap. You need a new one, a new shell. So I bought him this new shell, and he wouldn't swap. Okay, it's like it was, it was painted. It was cool. I bought him another one, and he wouldn't swap. So I was like, fuck it. I bought him a bunch of shells. He's gonna have to choose one, and he didn't choose a singular shell, and he fucking died. Um, his name was um um. It was Gustavo. No, no, it was Bernard or Gustavo. Uh, fuck it. I had to. And he fucking died. He just w he didn't want to swap shell. He didn't want to. L -l 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 -l. And I don't think there is any chance that this worked. So I gently cracked it open to look. <laughs> and that didn't work at all. The aluminium didn't run into the hole. And I could try again, but the bad thing about doing this with plaster is the mold is not reusable and takes a very long time to remake. So instead, I decided to make a mold out of high temperature silicon, which I've used before to make high temperature silicon. flesh lines. And then we'll use pewter as the metal, which I can just Black melt mold. on the stove, which is great as I won't burn myself as much. And to make the silicon mold, I took the- Chat, guys. When viewers live stream, what does that mean? I, I don't fish. I'm doing my behaviors. Why lost? <laughs> the resin shell and placed it at the bottom of this PVC pipe and then poured silicon over the top until it almost came over the shell. Then I let that dry before pouring another layer on the top so it runs inside the shell and then let that dry. And now hopefully I can neatly pull apart the layers Kim. creating a two part Chat. mold. I'm gonna get guest star. And join together. Which didn't work. And get it ready. So I made another one, but this time I used graphite powder so they would separate. Now comes the pewter, which is this metal here, which makes you feel incredibly strong, which I just cut into chunks. And then melted it down in this little saucepan. And if you're following along from home, it's very important that you also use a pot with a plastic handle like this one, which will- Cam, stop it in your child fans. Okay, man, you, choose, you chose the wrong fucking time to, to be a bitch ass right now. Can this dick fit in your mouth? Manic episode. Okay, you're up first, my brother. Are uh, you about to get invited? Here's what's happening. So you're, you're, I'm going to invite you, okay? Um, on, no, you, should, you should get a prompt right now. It's going to open up. It's going to invite. And then you're going to uh, accept with your camera and your, uh, you're going to accept camera. And you're going to accept um, also uh, microphone. And if you don't, uh, you're probably banned. Sorry, bro. That's just how it is. It is what it is. Hey, you chose the wrong day, my brother. It is what it is. You chose the wrong day. You chose the wrong day to be a bitch ass. All right, that's how it goes. 
Um, Go ahead, man. I'm waiting. The prompt is open. Should be on your right. Waiting for guests to connect. And I'm just going to wait for you to connect, and then I'm going to swap you in. While, that, while we're doing that, I'm going to wait. To catch on fire, releasing poisonous fumes. Then once the metal was no longer its solid self, I poured it into this hole. I'm waiting, but he's, about, he's gonna get abandoned. Guest star in queue, waiting for um, waiting for guests to connect. Bro, I'm I'm gonna give you one minute. Creating this. And it turns out casting a hollow spiral tube is very hard, but I kept trying. Nope. Now there's a camera, I and mean, you have a mic at least. And after pouring and destroying at least 10 molds, I finally managed obvious. to get this. That one actually looks pretty good. Isn't that cool, actually? Which is almost good enough, but I've realized a problem. This shell is very heavy, at 90 grams. And if we compare that to the weight of a hermit crab... Oh, you won't be able to move around. Which is zero. The shell weighs infinitely more, which is a big difference. So I need to come up with some other way of doing this. Sorry. I think electro plate... All right, let's see what he says. He says, what do he say? Sorry, I was joking. Ban me. Really, bro? You're gonna you're gonna talk shit, and then you're gonna you just back up like that. Waiting is my best bet, and the first thing I need. He fold like a stick of cards, bitch. What's on this guy? I need to do is make a bath filled with the metal I want to plate in, which is nickel. So I just got two nickel plates and put them in a vinegar solution, and then got this wire I'm not gonna and attached him. it to both plates. And then very quickly, the bath turned from clear to green, meaning it's now filled with nickel. And I know this. I'm not gonna ban him. I'm not ban him. Maybe he's having a shitty ass fucking day, okay? And he feels good by lashing out, and and he feels like insulting. It makes him uh, make it for the void that he's having, and and he's he's not having a good time. And uh, all of this is helping him, okay? It's okay, man. That's okay, man. I get it, bro. I get it, man. Setup looks bad, like I'm making meth or something. Which I am doing, don't get me wrong, but just not here on this table. Okay, now that I have my green path, I tested to see if I even know how to electroplate using this copper wire, which I connected to the negative power and then put the positive on this nickel chunk. And now hopefully the nickel metal moves from the negative through the bath onto the copper, coating it in nickel. And after only dunking it in the solution for like 30 seconds, the copper wire was covered in a layer of nickel, which means this should work. So I covered the shells in a conductive paint and put them in and waited and waited and waited. And the shells were much slower than the copper wire, but it does look like it's working as I can see some nickel. Aww. So I left them overnight. And this doesn't actually look that bad at all. Hey, hey, it's yo, kind of shiny, I see it. Also what very the light, fuck? While also having the added strength from the metal. And best of all, it makes this noise, which is good enough for me. So I Bro. created a bunch of different shell designs, sizes, and then also did some in copper, which looks awesome and has this crystalline metal growth on the end of the spike. All right, all right, man, bad timing, bro. All right, why are you extra ugly today? It's just chicken legs, bro. All right, you're gonna be about that. All right, I'm gonna send you an invite. Invite guest, boom, done. All right, bro, good luck. Uh, you should get a prompt on the bottom of your chat, a chat box. It just said, uh, accept. And you're gonna come in, bro, and you're gonna put your camera on and your uh, microphone. Otherwise, you're gonna be permanently banned. Good luck. Which makes the copper almost look organic and then put all the shells in the tank for the hermit crabs to choose. And this is the annoying bit of the video for me, uh, I'm, as I'm, I have I'm, no I'm, idea how oh, long the crabs in. are going to take to pick. All right, man. Hold up, he's actually coming though. I see him. Okay. I'm going to copy this scene, okay? Duplicate the scene. Am I going to call it? Interview. Okay, 
and I'm gonna make his browser source uh, about yay big. He's here. Okay. Where's he at? Oh my god. Yo! Hello? I didn't mean it. Hold up. Don't talk. No, you're really, really loud. You're really loud. You're really loud. Hold up. You're really loud. Hold up. Oh. So loud. What the fudge? Oh. I don't have a camera. I have a dog shit mic. I'm sorry. No cam. No cam. Sorry. You're joking, right? About the chat or the cam? The cam. Uh, yes. So you can put it on or not? No, I don't have a cam. Okay. So you go on the internet and you're going to call people ugly and you don't have a camera. <laughs> well, I saw that saying uh, rude messages got your attention and now I'm here talking to my favorite streamer ever. So it worked. Five head. This is why this feature sucks. Because people like you. <laughs> Come on, man. I didn't mean it, truthfully. The nature of your behavior is why politics are dog shit and the world is not going to go anywhere. Literally, ever. Politics? What? Literally. Literally. The reason, the, the, the nature of what you're doing it, um, it is why um, the world is an event. It really wasn't that deep, bro. I just wanted to talk to you. It was. It was. It was. I think. I think you're spread. You're spreading bad ideologies across the world, and it's it's hurtful. My Hi. bad, little bro. What? I said my bad, little bro. I am not. I'm not your bro, little bro. Just don't ban me, please. That's all I ask. Why well, do you show up with your camera though? I don't get it. I don't have one. I seriously would. You want me to get on my phone? Pick a shell. Like, does it work on my phone? Like, would it work on my no. phone? I'm just wondering, what makes you call you ugly on the internet? I'm not ugly. <laughs> I didn't think you'd actually look at it and bring me in here, bro. Seriously. So I'm not ugly? No. I already said I didn't mean it. Why, so you think I'm attracted then? Look, look, look. There's literally an emote. W Riz. Come on, chat. Back me up. That emote is gone. Oh, it's gone? I did, that's 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 tough. What the fuck is on to? The emote is gone. So is the person. That doesn't that doesn't change the fact you have Riz, bro. You're not ugly. I might be. I'm dick riding hard right now, just so I don't get banned. That's that's all I need to happen. Is just like do not do not ban me. Nah, bro. Whatever. I'm in, you glazing, bro. Happy seven. Yeah. This guy love you, love you needs to pay sap for saying W Riz. And after watching them for a week, nothing happened. Although I did learn a lot about the crabs, like that Sandy loves to eat fish, Randy loves digging in the corner, and Handy, well, uh, he loves... Yeah. But more importantly, I learned that all of them are liars. And despite what a hermit crab tells you, they are not actually crabs at all and had been lying to me for two weeks before I discovered they were actually something called a decapod crustacean. XQC and I have no idea. Those are pretty dang kept. They're, um, they're fossils. But in the end, it doesn't really matter because it looks like something has finally happened. And I came back to the tank one night to find this empty shell. Guys, guys, I'm only taking in uh, good shadows now. People that are nice are going to be taken in. And Randy in his beautiful new home. Look at that guy. What's good, motherfucker? He's got armor. <laughs> Why, he used it. That is awesome. And personally, I would have picked the larger shell for myself as he barely fits in the thing. But it seems fine, as he can still do all the things he loves doing, like running, digging, and climbing. Oh, it's working! And it's also nice to know he isn't a racist and didn't pick the Nazi shell, which I reckon Andy might go for, as he does spend a lot of time separating the sand into different colours. It's also really awesome seeing Randy dig under the ground, 
as when he's under, it's just the spikes on top of the shell poking out in a similar way to it's an a kid, which would really hurt if you stepped on him. And I really didn't think this would work at all. So I am very happy with this result. And I could wait longer to see if the other crabs also adopt their new shells, but I've been doing this for two months now and I feel like I'm really pushing my luck and I'm gonna be responsible for the death of a crab soon. <gasps> so I just decided to call it here and release the crabs back into the wild. Andy and Handy in their boring shells. And then Randy in his beautiful armor. Okay, buddy. So hopefully he now That's lives cool. a long, happy life, destroying the ecosystem he lives I'm in. I'm jealous. And the crabs aren't the only thing I'm releasing. I've got three leftover metal shells, which I've placed on beaches all over Sydney for you to find. Here are some Did clues on where to find them. Yet? Nobody lives in Sydney. I've written a um a poem. Oh no, I'm not. I, 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 I ain't no way, bro. Okay, living in Sydney. Um, I don't care. <laughs>